My name is Atul Devdar. I'm, I'm at ULAR 2019, and I'm presenting my poster today on the secukinumab and the effect of uh, the disease duration on the response. And ideally, we need to look at uh, the time since the patient developed their symptoms. But in the secukinumab clinical trials on ankylosing spondylitis, and there were four of them, measure one, measure two, measure three, and measure four, we did not really collect when did their symptoms start. Instead, we asked the patient when was the disease diagnosed. And so we are using the disease diagnosis, time since disease diagnosis, as a surrogate for uh, symptom duration. And basically what this poster shows is that whether your disease diagnosis was less than two years or more than two years, the efficacy of the treatment is quite equivalent, even though we also show that patients who had disease diagnosis of less than two years had a slightly better improvement compared to those who had their disease diagnosis of more than two years. So if you see here, and we looked at the SF36 uh, physical uh, component score and mental component score. This is a combined data <coughs> from measure one, measure two, and measure four. And we didn't include measure three because SF36 was not actually uh, assessed in that particular trial and on the left hand side what you see is the time since diagnosis of less than two years and time since diagnosis more than two years and if you look at the SF36 PCS the improvement is 8.8 versus 8 I mean, 8 is not bad at all this is in over one year by the way 52 weeks but then it is slightly better in uh, patients who had their time since diagnosis of less than two years and this kind of feeds into this idea that early treatment is better uh, in ankylosing spondylitis and we don't have as much data in AS as we have in rheumatoid arthritis but this particular poster and this uh, investigation is uh, in line with that idea. Thank you.